Good morning, modern steaders. Looks like we got about an inch or two of light, fluffy snow last night. I don't know if that's fog in the trees over there. I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but there's like a line. I don't know if it's fog or if it's just the way the trees are. It's pretty interesting this morning. 12 degrees Fahrenheit out this morning, and it's supposed to get in the 30s today. That's like a heat wave for us. And tomorrow, it's supposed to be 45 degrees for a high. Man, we're gonna have to bust out the shorts. <sighs> I hear the goats. The snow's pretty powdery. Let's see how it blows. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Definitely an odd snow we got last night. I don't think the goats are caring for this hay. They normally don't leave hay that long in a hay feeder. What's the matter, you don't like your hay? That bale's almost gone. What are you doing, Blossom? Yeah, what are you doing? Well, out you can go up on the milking stand. There you go. There you go. You know it's been a long, cold winter. When it's 12 degrees out, and you're like, man, this feels warm. Because oh. this morning feels pretty, <coughs> this morning feels pretty nice. Oh. I can just imagine what it's going to feel like tomorrow morning when it's like 28 degrees out, first thing in the morning. Yep, it's not going to be long and Willow's going to be all dried up, so as long as she's pregnant, that's a good thing. I haven't seen her go back into heat. I've seen Blossom go into heat a couple of times now. We're going to wait to breed her. I'm not sure if we'll breed her in a couple of months or if we'll wait until next fall. She'll be old enough to breed her say March, April, but if we do that, we'll be having kids in November-ish, no, September. They won't be very old going into winter, so I'm not sure with the kind of winters we've been having lately, if I wanna be having young baby kids in the winter, or going into the winter. The goats have really done a number on this crisp, on this evergreen that we went foraging for the other day. They ate all the needles. They haven't touched the bark too much, but they're starting to chew it. We'll leave that out here and we'll see what it looks like in a few days. We have one more that we got the other day that we can put out here for them. Did you like the pine tree? Was it tasty? Yeah, that was a good evergreen. Yeah. Did that give you good breath? Was it a breath freshener? You waiting for us, Figaro? What is that buttercup? Huh? What is that thing? You want to play with the cat, buttercup? Did you finish all your pellets yet, Blossom? Looks like you're done. Find something good in there? You ready to go in there, Mr. Figaro? Go ahead, watch out. I get in the gate. Watch out. I gotta open the gate. Go ahead. You ready, Figaro?
Pluto. We're gonna go to New York City, not the goats. This way. Good girl. I bet all that snow is gonna fall off New York City's roof this week when it starts to warm up a bit. Good morning, girls. How you doing this morning, Moose? Ladies, ready for some food? You ate that little special treat that I gave you yesterday, awesome. He didn't know what to do with it at first, but I see it's all gone. There. Oh, it's gonna be nice once it the thaws a little bit. We can clean up the chicken coop some. You want to go out, don't you? Go for it. It's only snow. We got an egg this morning. Did you lay any for us? Are you just hiding? You're just hiding on us. Okay. I think she's trying to settle in so she can lay an egg. We'll give her her privacy. What do you see, Pluto? You're staring at something. What is it? Huh? What is it? Did Figaro come back out? I want to make some hard boiled eggs and make some egg salad sandwiches. Did you already week. put the water in? Not yet. I put the water in. Hold on. Gina, correct us. We've got to add one cup of water first. That's what I would do. Before the egg. Okay. Yeah. That's what we'll do then. That's what you normally do. I'm going to do one cup of boiling water. Just this way it heats up faster. Into the instant. I would stick them in carefully. But like Tetrisy, like you did with the crackers yesterday. Carefully, I was gonna do it carefully. Look at that basket full of pretty farm fresh eggs from New York City. Trying to hard, hard to stack that many in there. Well, they're not square. Nope. Oh man. You did it. Just put the cover on. What do we do? Uh, manual five. So it'll heat up five minutes, but it probably won't because we put hot water in. Yep. Five minutes it will count, and then we leave it for five minutes. After it cooked for five minutes, we leave the pressure on for five minutes. Right. Now we need to depressurize the vessel. Turn it off. A nice cold bath of ice water going for the eggs. Bam, look at that. A couple of them pop, but not too bad. A few of them popped. One right here. They're way too hot for me to grab. Come on, just grab it. Ah, I'm not gonna just grab it. I like my fingers. I feel it in my fingers. You just 
Do you have that thing right in it? No more snow? Nope, it stopped snowing and it's supposed to get into the 30s today for a high. Yeah. Right? Heat wave. Now that we got the eggs all paled, we're gonna stick them in the refrigerator and let them chill for about an hour. And then after that, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna smash them up with a new tool that I bought the other day that Gina doesn't know about yet. Man, this is gonna be so much fun. Today we're gonna be making raspberry bread. You know what raspberry bread is? When what I is mix, raspberry bread? Um, it's when I mix two words together. So it's frozen raspberries. Alright, so I'm gonna need three cups of flour. sugar. So you need a third cup of milk and a third cup of oil. No, two thirds, two thirds. Which two other thirds, two thirds, that's right. Alright. Four. Normally two, so doubling. Four. four teaspoons. Bacon you soda. You need the extra oil. You need that this time of the year. I do. It's pretty dry. Don't get any shells in there. Don't watch me. <laughs> We're making Gina overcome her fear of breaking eggshells on camera today. Yeah. She don't like doing it. One step at a time, all right? Don't break the end, little by little. Never. Olivia really enjoyed having the blueberry bread for breakfast last week, and she wants to play. And she said, "Let's do it again for breakfast." I said, "You know what? Let's try raspberry bread this time." Let's no, switch that's not it up a little bit. I said, let's try raspberry <laughs> bread this time. Frozen raspberries. And we said, what? <laughs> this is a raspberry. Two cups. Two cups of raspberries. I really like raspberries so that have It's going to be delicious. I thought it was just gonna go so thought smoothly. Was, thought it was gonna be easy. Yeah, it was gonna be like. Oh, and it made a fool out of you. Now it won't let you in. Oh, oh, it's it still wants made. This is raspberry bread. Anyway. You want some scissors? I got it. I should make this for you for Valentine's Day. It's red. Is it good? If it tastes good, you can. Does it look good? Yeah. You can make me raspberry. 
Ah, it's so pretty and red. I think it's gonna be better than blueberry. Yeah. Do you, Livies? Yeah, it smells good. They look delicious. Be interested to see how they come out. What are you gonna do? Are you ready for this? So I was on Amazon the other day. You know how we really like our garlic press? They make hey, an just... egg press. <laughs> I gotta wash it first. I was wondering why you wanted to do this. This is why I wanted to make egg salad. This is pretty cool. It's like our garlic press. So we insert the egg. Well, I'm like, what is this magical thing you do? <sighs> it sounds like it's breaking. Nope. Did it break? It didn't break. It's breaking in. So uh. It's easier than the garlic press. This is fun. Bam. Just like that. Make sure you get in the bowl. It sounds kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! I love it. Man, so cool. Okay, let me try it. No! <laughs> you didn't want to share your garlic press with me. And does that stop you? <laughs> no. No. Alright, one more. Boom. Yeah, because then you think you have them all smashed. And they're not. This one was a tough one. I'll let you know how it is when I eat a sandwich at work. <laughs> okay. It's going to be delicious. Just listen, if it was, if it's not delicious, it was fun. And if it's delicious and fun, that's like two for one. Right. And a workout, three for one. Look at you working your biceps and triceps. Yeah. You don't even got to go to the gym. You just got to make lunch. <laughs> Love the gym. Livy, you want to see the new tool? It's like a garlic press, but on steroids. Is that hard to do? Are you gonna press? Are you gonna you use press. muscles? You, you got it. You got it, girl. You got it. Yeah, but put it over this wall. I'm trying to. You got this. You can do it. It's you can do it. It's than the garlic press. Well, because it's bigger. That's all. Like you got little go. hands. <laughs> I'm always gonna shoot I across. I can't do it. Yeah, okay, I'll get it started. Hey, mom, get it started. Yeah, because it's like too high up. It's way harder than my It's because you're short. Well, not short. There you go. You got it. Your hands aren't as big. I want to put one in. Place. You want to put the eggs in? Okay. I'm using to keep the bigger chunks. There you go. So, dear egg smasher people, make your holes a little bit bigger in the egg smasher. Okay, we'll see when we eat our sandwich. Look at all the family fun we get to have with a new tool. I need a bigger house for all this tool. Hey! Oh, I can't out of You're control. You're getting out of control. Your daughter wants to yeah, have see, fun. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I won't do it this time. I just start pushing him. Forget. Can you just stop me? Whoa! Do you feel it squirt? Yeah. <laughs> Did it get you? <laughs> oh, you're going to smell like farts all day long now. You got it. Put it. Our arms are sore later, we know. Who knew? Stop. Stop. What did you guys do for fun this weekend? Oh, we squished eggs. And made Cheez Its. What are you doing, mister? Who knew making lunch could be so much fun, huh? Mm -hmm.
need any salt or pepper. Does it look like good consistency? Yeah, like I think so. I, I did a good job just... picking up the tool. Are you gonna wash it? Yeah, it's in the sink ready to be washed. Can't you just tell me I did a good job? <laughs> <laughs> See, she can't even tell me. All right. You did a great job. I'll tell you tomorrow you did a great job. Tomorrow. When you eat your sandwich, let's see. Don't put that back in there. Good. Yeah. Let me put it away. It's good. Good tomorrow. consistency. Good flavor. Good flavor. I like it. Meanwhile, in the oven, those raspberry breads are cooking up nicely. They smell amazing. It's got me thinking we should try to make a raspberry glaze. Gonna add in a half a cup of sugar or so. Give them a little smash and break them up. Gotta make sure they don't burn. I find that the whisk does a really good job of helping to smash up the berries. Use the immersion blender. Now that we have the raspberry sauce, a nice thickness, I'm gonna put it through a sieve to get the seeds out of it. You girls wanna try this raspberry sauce? She would go good on vanilla ice cream. Oh yeah. Got this. some? Got some? I already had some. Oh, no, some ice cream? I don't. It's good. Yeah. Is it hot? It's warm. It's like a heat wave out here. It's like 30 degrees, guys. Whew. This feels good. I wonder what the animals are thinking about in this nice warm weather we're having today. What are you doing? You ain't liking that hay, are you? There's still a whole boatload of it in the feeder. Yeah. You being picky? Your goats, you're supposed to eat whatever. <laughs> oh, that's not true. Goats are very picky eaters. Look at that. I don't want nothing to do with that hay. They're picking through it. Like, if we have to, we'll eat it, but we'd prefer not to. I can't bring out the good hay yet. If I bring down the good stuff, they really won't eat that hay. You would think where goats eat shrubs and brush, that hay like that, they'd love it. Oh, I don't think we can go this way, guys. Let's see. We might regret it. Yeah, we'll make it. Ooh. Pluto, should we go back? Yeah, let's go back. It's too deep. Now it's starting to snow out. Man, this weather can't make its mind up. That away. What do we got? How many eggs? Four? Nice. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Moose. Since I like spoiling our animals, let's mix in some alfalfa pellets in with their hay feeder and see if that'll get them to eat that hay. I don't want it to go to waste. What are you doing, buttercup? Oh, I like you got food. I smell food. 
Here, come on. I'm gonna put some alfalfa pellets in the hay feeder. There you go. That'll get their interest. Ooh, what's in there? It's like a treat. Is that good? Yeah. Enjoy. We record our Tuesday video on Sunday. So this past Sunday was Super Bowl Sunday. So shortly after I fed the goats, it started raining out. We headed over to our friends and we had some good food, good conversations with our friends, which was really great. We had some slippery, slippery rain on the way home. We all made it home safe, which is good, but just some crazy weather we've been having, that's for sure. The other day I wrote an email, and when I was signing off the email, I wrote this, and it never hit me until I proofread the email and read it out loud. So let me read it to you. I said, thank you for all that you do and for being you. And when I was reading it out loud back to myself, I was like, man, I've never said that to myself before. And it felt good hearing myself say that to myself, if that makes sense. So I just think we should all take a minute right now and just thank ourselves for who we are everything that we do for ourselves and the crazy uniqueness that makes us us and thank you for coming along on our journey with us you guys are a huge blessing to our family and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom